Okay, this video shows how our lists work in our searches. So every one of our modules has a list. So if you go into either customers or inventory or whatever, there's a list that shows up, you know, kind of a spreadsheet-like format. Every single one of the columns is sortable. So if you sort by description, it shows, sorts that way. By vendor, and it puts all the vendors together. If you uh, sort by a numeric column, so all the committeds are all together there. And also, you can type to search. So if you highlight it and you get the arrow pointing on this particular column, you can start typing. So if we find something that begins with, uh, let's say, VI, it drops down that way. And you can also sort it backwards, of course, too. Uh, you can also move columns around. So if you want description first, you just move it like that. Or if there's columns off to the right and you want to move those columns over, you can put them wherever you want. And it only affects your own screen. It doesn't affect anybody else's system. You can also remove columns. If you just right click on any one of the column headers, you can turn on and off the columns that you do not want to see. And as you check them, they appear on the list. <coughs> the people that are not allowed to see certain things, like for instance the cost columns, those will not be, um, be able to be added by those users. In addition to that, we have the search box at the top here. And what this search box does, it searches everything in the database. So if I type in the word S-T-A-N-D, then it finds all the items with the word stand somewhere in it. But it doesn't have to actually be in the um, column itself. It searches all the database within, within including all the notes and extended descriptions and things like that. So for instance, if I type the word special up here, I'll find two items show up. If I open it up, you see the word special is in the extended description like that. Okay, so the next thing on our list is the ability to print on a selected basis. So if you say, for instance, sort by the on hand column here, and you highlight everything with something in stock all the way down, you can either hold your shift down and group select and then when you hit your print button and choose say the inventory status selected and I'll preview that then we get a report of just the total of the items of the ones we selected so if you do just this one, this one, this one oops, like that and hit print and preview you just get a short list of just those items so this can be a report that you sort by vendor get us report of just the items you buy from a particular vendor so from there down to there or it can be a, a product code or um, type or whatever column you sort it's basically when you select the items so a single report can be many different uh, versions of it okay then we have our navigation so if we want to sort again by vendor this time now we're going to go into the first one where it's sold by, let's go to Intech here. So we open it up, and the navigation buttons, if we move down, it moves to the next item. You can see the vendors here, Intech, down, keep going through them. And as we go through it, finally drop down to the next vendor. So what it does is it navigates from record to record in the same sort order you left it. So if you're looking at, say, for instance, the available quantity, and we go back home there, so let's do it uh, available this way, so our negative availability. So we go into the first one and go next, 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 next. It goes through those records in that particular order. 